Hi everyone, this is a video from the car. As you can probably see, I'm in my wife's car today and I wanted to talk to you about how valuable and how precious our time is on this planet and how we should all really use it to the best of our ability. A lot of people come up with quotes like, say, live every day as though it was your last and lots of things like that. And for the most part, that is very true. And I want to just sort of share with you something quite personal to me, and that is about probably about a year and a half, two years ago, I was in a place that I would term a very low place. I had a lot of uh, stresses to do with work, to do with business things, deals that were trying to be uh, developed, etc., etc. And also, I went through a lot of personal issues as well, uh, not necessarily. Uh, to do directly with me but to do with the people around me and a lot of things were changing in my life at the same sort of time I even went through a, a couple of weeks I think it was about two or three week period where two people that were very close to me actually passed away and I did share that with you at the time in a video and I think it was at that stage when I lost a couple of people that I would converse with more or less on a daily basis that I really came to realize how precious every day is and I think reflecting back on that time I can honestly say that I think I wasted probably a couple of months of my life not all in one go not not in sort of day after day after day but if I put all the time I consider that I didn't spend to the the best of my ability I think it probably added up to maybe two maybe even three months and that's a long time and I spent that time thinking feeling sorry for myself with the feeling that the world was against me why wasn't everything in my life aligning and going correctly you know why were things challenging me and at the time I was living in that moment so it, it was right for the time but I never want to go back there again and I think about six months ago, I came to the realization that I would need to really direct my business focus and my concentration on the content that I put on the Geek and Noise channel and the other channels and the other projects I work on. I have to direct that focus and really make it count and make it things that I enjoy doing. I've spoken to you a lot of times really advising you both in video form and in tweets that I put out and other social network posts that you should only do things if they are fun and if you enjoy them of course we all need to earn money of course we do but there comes a point in our lives where we have to learn to say no to certain projects thankfully I've done that we have to also only take on things that we are truly happy doing now what I mean by that is, and how that directly affects me, is before I would be in this pattern, and it's this pattern I've broken, and I'm sure you've recognized that in the video content that's published to the channel, but before I would be very regimented in the way I do videos, it would be get a product in, or source a product, unbox it, do the initial impressions, uh, publish a video test, publish this test, work on the review, get the review out, uh, push those all through social media and then the thing that took its toll on how I felt about doing that sort of structure to my videos was the whole process would start again that to me is not creative that to me is being robotic in the way I produce content so I'm gonna pick up on this and talk to you a bit more about it back at the studio haha <laughs> that is so so funny if you look back at that last segment of video right at the end, so just sort of rewinds maybe 20, 30 seconds, you'll see me flicking my eyes up, looking in the rear view mirror, and that's because a traffic warden was coming down the road and he'd already looked at another couple of cars and I was actually in a zone where you shouldn't even stop. So I thought I'd better move along quickly. About 45 minutes to an hour has passed since then and I'm now back at the studio and hopefully I'll continue where I left off I was just sort of covering the subject of how I wanted to break that mould of being in that cycle of uh, reviewing products in the way I was doing and return to the time where I enjoyed my technology more 
because technology to me is a very personal thing. It's what made me start making videos in the first place was my personal enjoyment that I gained from using technology and sharing that advice. Now, even through the period where I was going through that cycle, I was still enjoying sharing the advice, but I didn't have time to necessarily uh, thoroughly enjoy the technology myself. And I needed to return to a point where I was making videos about what I enjoy to put that fun back to back in. That's very, very important, extremely important. And for me, that means that it's not all about technology. That's why you get different videos from me every day talking about my personal life and, and what I enjoy on a personal level. And you'll also see some videos thrown into the mix that are so-called tech videos or more geek videos that are about things like when I do my Lego builds. You know, that's because I enjoy Lego. That The, the, the Lego build that I enjoyed the most, just, just to cover that subject a little bit more, was the Volkswagen camper van. When I got that VW camper van, uh, I was over the moon. And building that, spending all those hours was so, so enjoyable. And from a personal level, I would rather make content like that that people can go back and watch years later than a piece of technology that's outdated within a couple of weeks or a month or a few months after it's become available. People have got into this cycle with their own technology where they always want to upgrade. They don't want to miss out on that new feature in the new product. And that means that older technology is outdated very, very quickly. And so the videos, you know, not, not a lot of videos that I see either on my own channel or on other people's channels after three months, who's going to be interested in watching an old smartphone video? Of course there will be some. Of course there are. There are people that uh, upgrade on a different cycle to everybody else. But the longevity of that type of video is uh, not as valuable to me, and I don't think it would be as valuable to you, as something else. So... That's why you will have seen a change in both myself and the content on the channel. And that's because it's my channel, it's about my life, it's about what I enjoy, and I'm still gonna share technology along the way, of course I am, that's what I love doing, but I'm gonna take the time to enjoy it myself as well. So that's what I wanted to share with you today anyway. That's just my thought, how my thought process has certainly changed over the last six months to a year. Uh, and it's taken me a long time to get to this point where I'm comfortable with what I am uh, experiencing on a day-to-day -day basis and I feel that I'm taking advantage of every day to its best potential for me and I'm happy to share that with you. Sounds really weird when I've, I've just heard what I said, it does sound very, very strange. Let me know what you think anyway in the comment section. Let me know if you connect on that level with what I've been saying as well. And let's get this discussion going. It's a, it's a good one for discussion, I think. Let me know if you really enjoy technology or you really enjoy what you do. And if you don't, how you think you could change that. So thanks very much for watching. Hit that like button. Please subscribe. I always ask you that. Please do subscribe if you can. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you'd like to watch another amazing video from me, please do click that top box. And if you want to subscribe to my geeky channel, click the red box on the bottom of your screen now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.